Today we're going to be going over how manipulating light is the key to virtual reality, but first we've got to go over what VR is. Virtual reality is a series of systems that mimic sight and touch to craft an immersive feeling of being inside a virtual space. The current state of VR uses a headset to mimic sight and sound, as well as two controllers to mimic touch. The amount of technology that makes these things possible is really incredible and it really speaks to the thousands of years of scientific progress that we've gone through to get to the point where we can mimic a virtual space with physics from our actual space. So obviously we don't have very much time today and this is a huge, huge topic. So here are some of the things we're going to be skipping that actually make this possible that also deals with light manipulation. We're going to be skipping over the optics and lenses and screens that allow you to see in stereoscopic vision in VR. Even with these great optics and this ability to see with stereoscopic vision, it wouldn't mean anything if you couldn't track yourself within a space. As you can see in the video, lower end VR systems track 3 degrees of freedom, while higher end VR systems track 6 degrees of freedom. This is how you're able to feel like you're inside of a space and that you're able to interact with it. Each device, the headset and each controller, have accelerometers, gyroscopes, and a magnetometer in it. These sensors measure each device's velocity, orientation, and gravitational forces, and they update at 1 kilohertz. That's easily fast enough to track punches and other quick movement. Unfortunately, these sensors have a fatal flaw. It's called drift. The positional tracking with IMUs generate a lot of errors, which with the 1000 hertz sampling adds up really quickly. These errors will seem to make the object drift across the virtual space. This is where optical tracking comes in. It's used as a reference point to stop the drift. There's a series of infrared lights covering the headset and the controllers in a specific pattern that creates a 3D wireframe model for the computer to track and use as a reference against the drifting controllers and headset. This infrared system only updates at 60 Hz compared to the 1000 Hz of those sensors we talked about earlier. This is actually okay because all it's doing is providing a reference frame to stop the sensors from drifting. So you still get precise 1000 Hz updates but with a tracking system that corrects it at 60 Hz which is fast enough to actually trick your mind. If you go below 50 Hz it actually seems choppy and doesn't really work and your mind can tell. This technology is progressing very quickly towards tracking your hands, full body, objects in the room like keyboards, as well as pets. On top of that, new technology is being developed called inside-out tracking, where instead of having cameras track a headset with lights on it, the headset itself has cameras on it that track the world around it and create light field maps or 3D maps of the environment based on light vectors coming into the headset and the cameras. Well, that's about it for the video. Watch this guy lightsaber some stuff in VR and ask me questions if you have them.